Good morning, I am Khadija Balogu, and this is the News Brief. Our workers in Nigeria have declared that they would begin a nationwide rally in protest against the current passive, against the current argument, massive theft of the country's crude oil and destruction of oil assets in a bid to force the government to act and halt the menace. Coming under the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, the oil workers noted that having engaged the leadership of the security agencies, the regulatory bodies, as well as captains of industry, to find ways of curbing the menace without appreciable results, it became necessary to declare an emergency. The national president of Pengasan, Professor Sosifo, who addressed journalists in Abuja, stated that since engaging within the four walls of officers was not given the desired outcomes, the union would now rework its strategy. The OPEC quarter today for Nigeria is somewhere above 1.8 million barrels of crude oil per day. But today we struggle to produce just over a million because majority of this crude oil are stolen and at best companies are shorting production. As Pengasan, we felt that no, we can no longer fold our arms. We felt that the discussions that we have been having in offices, enough is enough. And we should also follow it up by a rally that is going to take place across the four zones plus Abuja of Pengasan come tomorrow, 8th of September, 2022. Government must wake up. There must be consequence management. You cannot send naval officers. You cannot send um, civil defense officers. You cannot send uh, men and women of Nigeria Army to the creeks of Niger Delta, and you don't develop a mechanism to hold them accountable. Because if there is no accountability, if there is no consequence management, if at best you keep circling them six months thereafter, you keep circling them every six months, what you are only doing is creating circles of millionaires every six months.